Hello viewers, this is your tutorial on how to automate scrape tweet on Twitter using Socinator. This is helpful if you want to scrape specific tweets according to your niche. Let's start with the accounts manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your account and hit go to tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Twitter through Socinator. Let's go to the Scrape Tweet tab because we want to scrape tweets on Twitter. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to scrape a number of tweets within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for Scrape Tweet activity. The first one is Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted tweets to scrape. There are two important sections. Query type and query. Query type defines how you want to search the user's tweets. Click the drop down button and select the query type of your choice. Once you have selected your query type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area or import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Select the right file and click open. When you're done, click add queries to the list button and it will be added in our queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's input uh, foodies, for example, and click add. Socinator will use this query to search related tweets and scrape them. Hashtags, let's say hashtag dogs, for example, click add. So this will target tweets with this hashtag. For location tweets, the format is Keyword, colon, city, colon, country, colon, distance. Let's say the keyword is games, colon, city is Tokyo, colon, country is Japan, colon, distance is 15, for example. Click add. So this will target tweets with these location specifications. For near my location, you can only enter keywords. So let's say dogs. Click add. So this will target tweets containing that word near your location. For custom tweet lists, we need a specific tweet URL. Let's say this one, for example. Copy the link of the tweet and paste it here. Click Add. So it will target that tweet and scrape it. For someone's followers tweets, we need a specific Twitter username here. Elon Musk, for example. Click Add. So this will target tweets of Elon Musk's followers. For someone's following tweets, still with Elon Musk, click add. This time it will target the tweets of the users Elon Musk is following instead. For followers of someone's following tweets, still with Elon Musk, click add. So it will target the tweets of the followers of the users Elon Musk is following. Next is followers of someone's followers tweets, Elon Musk again. Click add. So this time it will target the tweets of the followers of Elon Musk's followers. For like users tweets, we need a specific tweet URL. Let's use the same one earlier. Click add. So this will target the users tweets who like that specific tweet. Next is commented users tweets. Still with the same tweet URL. Click add. So this time it will target the users tweets who commented on that tweet. For retweeted users' tweets, still with the same tweet URL, it will target the user's tweet who retweeted that tweet. For commented tweets, let's use the same URL, click add. It will target the commented tweets under that specific tweet. So the replies to that specific tweet. Next is Socinator Publisher Campaign. This depends on the campaigns you have created and published through Socinator. You may view them in the Social Publisher tab over here. Next is Tweets liked by specific user. We need a specific user here, Elon Musk for example, and click Add. This will target the tweets Elon Musk liked. Next is Specific User Tweets. So the specific user is Elon Musk again, for example, click Add. So this will target Elon Musk's tweets. Finally, Tweet Scraper Campaign depends on the campaigns you have created 
on Tweet Scraper so you may copy the campaign ID in your Tweet Scraper campaigns. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. For example, keywords. Click and it's gone. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should scrape tweets. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use like slow with an average daily activities of 22, medium with 50, fast with 75, or super fast with 107. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each tweet is scraped. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after it's scraping the number of tweets you set and number of tweets per job. Number of tweets per job will allow you to specify the number of tweets you want to scrape per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of tweets to scrape per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max tweets per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep scraping tweets even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example. Provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. Click Add Interval, and it's added. Let's add another one, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click Add. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it Twitter Scrape Tweet. Click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Twitter Scrape Tweet. The next tool is Tweet Filter. This allows us to filter the tweets we want to scrape on Twitter. The first one allows you to specify the age of the tweet, let's say less than 3 days old. Next, you can specify the minimum and maximum number of retweets and favorites of the tweets you want to scrape. The following will allow you to skip specific tweets. So here we can skip tweets containing specific words. So let's say you don't want to scrape tweets with politics or government, for example, separate each word by comma. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking that button and choosing the right file. Let's say must contain, for example, click open and it's uploaded successfully. When you're done, click the Save button. So this will skip tweets containing these words, and Socinator will not scrape them. Next is Skip Already Retweeted Tweets. So if tweets have already been retweeted, then you may skip them. You may also skip tweets with this symbol. So these are mentions or replies on Twitter. You can also skip retweets, tweets with or without links, and finally, you may skip tweets that contain non-English characters if you want to target English tweets only. Finally, the last configuration category is Manage Blacklisted Users. Blacklisted users are the Twitter profiles you do not want the software to interact with. So the software will not scrape tweets from blacklisted users when the box is checked. So this can be either a private blacklist, which is a blacklist that belongs to a specific Twitter account or a group blacklist which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start scraping tweets, let's click the Save button and click the Status button to make it active. To view the list of tweets you have scraped, click the Reports button over here. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating scrape tweet on Twitter using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app, click the social drop down button, and select Twitter. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's go to the scraper tab and select scrape tweet on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign, let's call it Twitter Tweet Scraper. For search query, let's target tweets with hashtag dogs. Click add. 
For job configuration, an average daily activity, so 22 should be okay. So let's select slow. For tweet filter, let's skip tweets with this symbol. Retweets and tweets with links. And focus on English tweets only. So let's skip tweets that contain non-English characters. And let's skip blacklisted users. When you're ready, click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, we can select multiple Twitter accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click the box over here and click the save button. So this will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our Twitter tweet scraper campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. You may click the report button over here to view the list of tweets you have scraped. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.